Welcome back, Fight Fans. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. On our newest installment of Up and Coming Rising Prospects, we have to give credit where credit is due. And that's Jaime Monguia. And he is basically the WBL world champion at 154 pounds. He defeated Saddam Ali in the fourth round by knockout. His career record sends at 31 wins, no losses with 26 knockouts. He's a very impressive and large fighter, especially for 154 pounds. I could definitely see Jaime Munguia moving up to 160 pounds. I think that's his ultimate goal. And he is very, very talented. Another thing about Jaime Munguia, he's very young and has plenty of room to grow. He's 22 years old. He stands at six feet tall and he looks like to be a special fighter. He has a very good skill set as far as power and his boxing ability has been increasing. So I think that that is a very good sign for Hami Mungia. After defeating and stopping uh, Saddam Ali, he came back and beat Liam Smith, a good, solid quality opponent at 154 pounds. He beat him by a 12 round unanimous decision. There was times where he could have got him out, but he continued to box. His defense wasn't as tight as it could have been. Then he fought Brandon Cook, in which he stopped in the third round. So his defense tightened up even better. So you have to give credit where credit is due as you consistently see Jaime Munguia improving, especially defensively. As long as he improves defensively because of his size and strength, he can pretty much compete with anyone on that level. He has an upcoming fight on January 26 on the zone uh, against Takashi Inui. And so that's going to be a very interesting fight. Uh, Takashi Inui is very, very high rated by some people. He has 13 wins, uh, seven of them by knockout. He's never been lost. He's never lost and he has one draw. Um, now, he's highly rated as far as a prospect goes. He's 29 years old. He's an orthodox fighter. So I think it'll be very interesting to see how Jaime Munguia deals with this guy especially since it's going to be a varying style. But I ultimately believe this fight will end uh, pretty much the way the last fight against a Brandon Cook did by way of knockout. You know, I think that Jaime Munguia is maybe about two fights away from being able to challenge the big boys at 154 pounds, such as, you know, Jared Swift Hurd or Jamel Charlo. I think Jaime Munguia can compete or stop either one of those guys because if you look at um you know Jared Swift hurt his defense is basically his offense so Jaime Munguia with his size his strength would easily be able to stop Jared Swift hurt the only thing you need from Jaime Munguia is tighten up and better defense and that's gonna come as the more fights he gets the more ring experience he gets the better his defense looks and we've already seen that in his last few outings since the Saddam Ali fight his defense has getting, been getting better and better it's still not where you need it to be to compete against the best of the division so I'll say another you know another two fights and then I believe Jaime Munguia will be ready for Jamel Charlo or you know Jared Swift Heard um, these are the guys in the fights where he can potentially unify that division if he keeps on the same path. And once he does that, you know, then I believe he'll be ready to move up to 160 and fight, you know, the bigger names such as the Saul Canelo Alvarez, the Danny Jacobs, the Demetrius Andre. And because of his size and power, he can literally compete with anybody he steps in the ring with. It's just a matter of honing and tightening up his boxing skills. He's already showed great promise. He's very young and he is an up and comer on the rise. Once again, it's the IBFP unbiased as always. Please share, like, and you must absolutely subscribe.